Hello all, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to give you a bit of a hardware review. Now the hardware in question is the Peacemaker XLRTA. So it's this lovely little thing on top. Well I say little, it's not so much little, but it's a nice 28 millimeter RTA. So what we'll do, we'll do the normal, we'll do the usual, go down to the table, have it up close and personal, come back up top, have a talk, pros, cons, and what I think of it. Yeah, so without further ado, let's go down to the table. Right then guys, here we have the Peacemaker XL, Squid Industry sign on the front, 28mm RTA. On the side there you've got the old scratch and sniff again peacemaker on the side here we've got what it is peacemaker XL in stainless not for sale to miners squid industries distro on the bottom take the sleeve off you've got exactly the same front nothing on the sides squid industries there and on the bottom you've got as he's got on most of his uh, hardware is the Squid Industries story. So, quick look in the box. When you have a look in the box, you've got relevant tools. You've got the Allen key here, which we'll need for the coils. You've got a bag with various O-rings, quite chunky O-rings there o-rings a couple of coils and a screwdriver there you've got the bubble glass and you've got the rta itself now the rta is 28 millimeters in diameter a dual coil deck and it's 810 drip tip 5 mil capacity as it comes out of the box this is 5 mil or you can put the glass on and that gives you a huge capacity of 9mm. Um, I've had it with the glass on and it just looks like a normal RTA. But the reason I got this is obviously one for the review and two because I like the look of it in this form. I think it looks really nice like a revolver bloody lovely nice strip tip on the top lovely smooth threads it's got a bit of a quite a few turns to take the top cap off to be honest you've got nice big ports to put your e-liquid in really big kidney shaped ports there holes whatever you want to call them you look on the bottom you've got airflow on one side air adjustment on the other what you do on one is exactly the same on the other side you look on the bottom here it's got peacemaker 28 millimeters with the serial number designed by squid industries take this off Again, you can see the chimney is quite short here. Quite short indeed. But the finishing on this is absolutely brilliant. It really, really is. Lovely, lovely smooth threads. Everything screws into place. Very, very nice indeed. Obviously, as I say with this, you've got 5mm capacity. For me, this is what it's all about. You can put the glass on for 9mm capacity, but this is what it's all about. Very, very nice indeed. You've got ample capacity there with the uh, with the 5mm anyway. Not a problem. And you have a look at the deck. It's a honeycomb deck. Obviously, dual coil. X screws you haven't got no flat heads or Phillips screws on there you've got your um, 
hex screws in there very nice indeed all round absolute superb finish this is a 10 out of 10 every day for the finish on this it's very very well designed very very well built the finishing on it is absolutely superb there's no rough edges or sharp bits or anything else it's just very very well machined so what we'll do guys we'll uh, we'll put a bit of a build in there get some coils on and all that sort of stuff right then let's get a build in it um, I've got a couple of my own coils here they're not brilliant but there you go um, what I've been doing is if you use the coily tool cut your legs to a 4.5 mil and that is ideal well, ideal for me ideal for the way I do it one again 4.5 using the coily tool Out the way and in the bin. So, 4.5 mil. Let's get them put in. raspberry custard all nice and moist wet whatever you want to say you roll it in there nicely you don't need too much cotton in here at all And what I usually do when I fill it up, just close the bottom all the down. Screw 
the top cap on. Overly jovely, open the airflow. Perfect. You don't need loads of cotton at all. And that's it. Wicking and, well, coil and wick in there. Not a problem. No leaks from this RTA at all. Absolutely perfect. So, go back up top, give you my thoughts, pros, cons, and all that sort of business, guys. See you up there. So, there you had an up close and personal with the Peacemaker RTA. What do I think of it? It's a bloody good RTA, to be quite honest. Nice size, nice looks. Obviously, it's got like the uh, revolver chamber um, look to it. Now, obviously, cons. We'll start with cons. Um, I think the air adjustment at the bottom, it's got nothing on it. So you need to sort of like grab where the air intake is and twist it round. Um, a little bit of um, knurling on there or something to actually grab hold of and change the... Um, so you can change the way the air um, comes in. That would be one probably the only thing that i would change on this um this rta to be quite honest there is not a lot of cons with this at all super easy to wick it really really is you don't need a lot of cotton in there um i haven't had any problems at all so we'll go on with the pros no problems at all with leaking um it, it, it's been a pleasure to vape to be quite honest obviously in this format here that comes as five mils with the bubble glass you get a huge nine mils um, but with the bubble glass on it doesn't look as good as it does as it comes um, with the bubble glass for me it just looks like every other RTA out there you know but it's got a nice sexy look it really has um, put, just thinking about another probably possible con it's not really a con it's just a bit picky from me i suppose when you un undo the top cap to put your e-liquid in you have to turn it quite a few times um that's that's really the only thing for me um i'm trying to think of other minus points it really isn't um, plus points, it's lovely looking, nice capacity, a great vape. You get excellent, excellent flavour from this RTA, you really do. Um, especially for me with with um, fruit flavoured e-liquids. It really, really brings the flavour out. Um, and it's not too shabby at all on custards and things like that. Um, it, it's just a, a very good all round <coughs> RTA, it really is, and it vapes very well. No dry hits, nothing like that. Excellent flavour, no leakages sexy sexy looking RTA 28 millimeters decent size it's not small um, it looks nice on mods where you can centralize your atty and all that it really really looks good um, 8 out of 10 every day for this RTA it's a cracker it really really is super easy to wick super easy to use um it's all, almost foolproof to be quite honest <clears throat> um 
another con while I think of it if you sort of shut the air down by about halfway ish it's a little bit turbulent see if I can sounds a little bit like a wind turbine but as I've been vaping it wide open no problems at all i would give this an 8 out of 10 would i recommend buying it definitely um i've gone out and bought it and it's cracking cracking rta it really really is 8 out of 10 every day great flavor doesn't leak anyway guys as always please like and share if you haven't already hit that subscription button down below Hit the notification bell for future uploads, updates, and all that sort of business, yeah? Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, have a cracking day out there, boys and girls. I really mean it. Catch you again. Bye-bye. Cheers.